Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be making a Benchy. Yes, a 3D Benchy boat with the help of AI. I'm gonna be uploading a picture of a 3D Benchy boat to an AI tool, Meshy AI that is, and seeing what the result is and seeing just how good AI 3D modeling is. So, let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we are going to do is go over to Google, download our picture of our Benchy and upload it to Meshi AI. And we're going to use their image to 3D model generation tool. And if you don't know what Meshi AI is, it is a 3D or text, sorry, image or text to 3D AI generation tool. You can upload it, any picture or describe to it anything you want and it will generate a picture of just that. So once we get this picture uploaded, it's going to generate our Benchy boat for us. So here is our Benchy boat that we generated just off of a single picture that we uploaded to AI. But I noticed that symmetry was turned off and I'm going to turn the license to um, BY so I can share it um, and upload it to Thingsverse later. So I'm going to regenerate it and um, I'm going to have it be symmetrical this time and under a different license. Um, but nevertheless, we can go ahead and download this STL file so that we can open them up and compare them. All right, so here is my Benji boat. I am saving it to my files right now. Just naming it Meshi AI Benji boat so it's easy to remember and go back to. And that is the symmetrical one. So the next thing I had to do with this AI model was scale it correctly. So it came in as a super, super small model, or sometimes it comes in as a super, super big model. So I just had to get the right dimensions from the real Benchy and add them to this Benchy, and then it was the right scale. All right, so once we have that file saved, we can save it to a USB, shove it into our computer, and save it to a folder so we can open up in Tinkercad on our computer, which is what I am doing right here. So I'm opening up the regular 3D Benchy and the AI Benchy in Tinkercad um, just so I can do a side by side comparison and make sure all um, of the um, scaling is correct for this. AI model because I'm assuming that it won't be scaled correctly. So I'm going to fix the scaling and then we're going to compare it and just see how accurate it actually is. So there's the Benchy AI boat right next to the regular Benchy boat. So the pink one is the AI Benchy and the orange one is the regular one. So as I hovered over there, right there, you can see just how stinking close it is um, to the original. All right, guys, here is that Tinkercad page where I have the downloads for both the AI generated and the regular from Thingsverse 3D Belt Benchy. So again, here is the AI generated run. You can tell because it is a little rough around the edges, but we are going to see just how well it prints out. And then again, here is the actual 3D Benchy boat. And then again, if we can just throw one over the top of the other, they fit pretty, pretty good. Even as far as the circles line up in the back right here, which I thought was pretty crazy along with the square and even 
the chimney but let's go ahead and print this thing out and compare the results real quick guys if you're watching this video you probably do a decent amount of printing and go through a decent amount of filament what if i told you you could get a united states manufactured filament for around the same price as those cheap chinese filaments you get on amazon if you go to coax3d.com which is a united states manufacturer of 3d filaments based in green bay wisconsin you can add three rolls of filament to your cart once you do that will equal over fifty dollars then you will get free shipping if you have over fifty dollars then you can apply my discount code austin's lab and that will give you an additional ten percent off with that ten percent off your rolls will be cheaper than twenty dollars a piece this will be comparable to any of those cheap Amazon rolls you can get for $16, $17. But by paying a couple more bucks, you can guarantee quality and made in the USA. And they also have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So they will win your satisfaction when you order from them. So again, use my discount code Austin's Lab in the checkout to receive 10% off and get a discount on these filaments made in the USA. So definitely go check Coax 3D out. But now, back to the video. All right, I have both of these in my slicer now. I'm using the Creality slicer. So anyways, I'm gonna slice the, this is the regular Benchy boat. And it's going to take an hour and three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and slice the AI Frenchy boat that's going to also take an hour and four minutes so that is very interesting it even has the exact same print time the filament cost is going to be 32 cents it's going to be 34 cents on the original so it's even saving us two cents in filament um, let's see 10.78 grams 11.21 grams so the regular benchy boat's going to be, use a little bit more filament too 3.76 meters compared to 3.62 meters for the ai generated one so it looks like the ai generated one is using less filament it's going to take the same amount of time it's going to cost two cents less and it's going to um weigh a few grams less i think it was one gram less yes so again this is the regular 3d benchy this is the ai one i'm going to export both of these to usb drives now so i can plug them in my printer and print them out and after they're done printing we are going to investigate them further and look at the details of the print and see just how well this 3d model AI 3D model of the 3D Benchy did. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, starting off here, we are printing off the AI generated Benchy boat. And one thing you will notice about this boat right off the bat is it doesn't have any of the XYZ coordinates on the bottom of the boat. So you will see that here when I take it off the print bed and right on the bottom AI boat so I'm just gonna write AI and then I think this was done at a hundred millimeters a second so I'm just gonna write a hundred just so we know how many millimeters per second I ran this Benchy boat test at all right we got this Benchy AI boat printed out now let's do the real Benchy boat so this is the normal benchy boat you'd get from any of your reputable 3d model websites and the first one in the search bar is usually going to be this one the real 3d benchy boat so here it is finishing up and taking off my print bed and i'm just going to see it is the real one with the xyz in the bottom and i'm going to document it again with a white pen just that it did a hundred millimeters second print but no AI this time obviously all right now that these prints are done we can actually look at these models in depth 
But first, I'm gonna throw up two videos of these models and you tell me which one is AI and which one is real. The first one or the second one. And let me know in the comments below. And then we're gonna do a full in-depth review of the AI model and compare it to the real model. So, let's do that. So if you guessed AI to be number one and real to be number two, then you were correct. So why number one was so obviously the AI is because the steam pipe was a little off centered and this was only because it broke off and I glued it back on and it wasn't apparently straight. But besides that, we are going to have a really hard time deciphering between the two real and AI generated benchies. So let's go ahead and review some more photos and um, distinguish which, where are the differences in these different prints, if there are any at all. All right, so first we're looking at the AI generated benchy boat. Um, as you can see, if you look at it hard enough, the straight lines on it aren't that straight. So if you look at the left side of the door arch and even the circle itself, um, it's not that circular. The arches, the straight lines aren't that straight. Um, and it isn't as symmetrical as you would think it is looking at that back view either. There also is no steering wheel, which the real Benchy does have, which you can see right now in this picture. Um, so, and then we can also look at the back, see how much straighter everything looks. The G code was compiled much better for this than the other one, as you can tell, because there's less, much less stringiness of um, filament going across in the parts. And now we can see them side by side and what I'm talking about you can see now with the straightness and the arches and the circles and how everything on the AI generated Benchy belt is just not as straight and sleek as it is on the real Benchy belt. But, but sp despite that I'd say they are pretty good renditions or, of each other and if you weren't a 3d printer or a 3d modeler you would not be able to spot the difference if i handed you both of these models you'd think they are just the same exact model upon super close inspection you might be able to figure out some details aren't the same like the steering wheel for example but besides that and if this steam pipe was on correctly and it didn't fall off this would almost be indistinguishable but again, the G code compiled a lot better for this real Benchy belt, it looks like, because there's no stringing of filament when it's going across the bridges and stuff like that. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it might have. But you can obviously tell that the real Benchy belt looks slightly better than the AI generated Benchy belt. But I thought this was very cool how similar they were in comparison. But with all that being said guys that is it for this video thanks for watching and checking out this video where we ai generated a 3d benching boat printed it out and see how it compared to a real benchy belt and honestly the results were kind of shocking because the ai generated benchy boat is almost the exact same as the real benchy belt as you can see in what we just shown on screen, there are some slight defects like the straightnesses of the lines, the corners, the circles aren't as straight, things like that. But I'm sure that it will only get better with time and if a 3D AI model can generate this now, I wonder what it can do in a couple years. So that is pretty cool and scary at the same time. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.